four four one one. Yeah. And Bit Avenue North Northeast. Okay, I'm gonna pull back. Dude, the cities is just as aggregate as yours. But right where your four dumps into it. So a question that came up from a, a, another buddy who um, kind of a handyman plumber guy. He he said, so you don't want to make sure that your sock doesn't pass the Y of the other guy coming out on the other side, right? Right. <laughs> exactly. We we kind of joked about that one. That would be a mean trick for your neighbor. Because there's a lateral right there inside the six. So the neighbor must tie into it also. Yeah, he does. But the, the six is all busted. Yeah, back it up. Actually, go back in. Go in. Okay, it's broken. I can't tell if that was utility going through there or just broken pipe. Yeah, it's the bottom. It's where it ties into the six. So you're at 50 feet. Yeah, right there, 50 feet of 4 inch. So is, is that kind of roughly where the, you're, you'll stop the sock, yeah, the sock at the lateral where the other line... We'll stop the, the sock right before it goes into the 6. So is it a 2 four going into a 6? Is that what the 2 is? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Because you can see. So when you run the sock, do you run the camera at the same time so you know? No. No? You do everything by your pre-measurements. Gotcha. Run the camera, do hard measurements, and then lay your, measure everything onto your liner. So yeah, the guy at North Shore was just raving about it's so cool that when you're all done, it looks like a plastic pipe. Yeah, I got sample pieces in the truck, oh, I'll really? show you. Yeah, Yeah, because once it's down there, you'll never see it. Right. You'll never have to worry about it either. It sounds a little bit like the the, uh, the new epoxy casting socks for broken leg, mm -hmm. where you just wet it and it becomes fiberglass as opposed to plaster. You're coming out. <laughs> 